Hi, everybody. It's Amy. I'm Amy, and this is Art Conspiracy. Everybody in. Uh, today, we are going to do something really important, um, the basic proportions of the standing figure. Uh, you can spend years and years, I certainly did, learning figure drawing, learning anatomy and the skeletal structure and musculature, and uh, spend hours and hours in front of the nude, which I did, and honestly, it's fabulous. But sometimes you just need essential information um, to be able to express or um, render a, 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 you know, a, a figure in your work. And sometimes the figure is this big in an environment and you don't need every single bit of anatomy to do that. So th this is all about essential information. So I'm gonna give you some steps and we're gonna break down what you need to know. There's certain things like, for instance, you cannot have the legs too short. If your legs are too short, you can't get away with it. Like there's some things you can kind of fudge, but there's other things you have to get right. And that's what this lesson is about. So let's jump in. Um, I'm gonna change my spotlight. Okay, so we are looking at the drawing. Okay, um, this technique that I'm gonna show you is gonna ensure that your figures will always fit in the space that they're meant to fit in, whether you're filling up the whole page or putting them in a doorway or whatever. So this is really helpful on, on a lot of fronts. Okay, so you're gonna always start with the top of the head and the bottom of the feet and then find the center. Now you've got them trapped, find the center that, and I do a little V, this V represents the pelvis. That is the midpoint. And what this means is that all of this is torso and head and all of this is leg. I know it seems like a lot, but this is the standard practice. Um, I, I'll give you a little bit of information on this later about where this system comes from. But anyway, here we go. The head is gonna be a third to a quarter. And I say a third to a quarter, I'm ballparking it. I'm not measuring. Um, the system I spoke of earlier is based on eight heads. So this would be a quarter, but we're not measuring heads. We're not doing that. We're not going there. Anyway, there's your head. Drop the shoulder line. Why do I drop the shoulder line? Because I'm leaving room for a neck. We like necks. Necks are good. Okay, so we're dropping that. And then from the shoulder to the pelvis, two thirds down, is gonna be the waist, okay? And again, we're gotta be in the ballpark, but don't measure. And then your torso, I'm gonna to make this a woman. It's, it's kind of an hourglass shape. You see that? You can get that very quickly, okay? Now I'm gonna move on to the legs. I'm skipping the arms for now. The reason, because we get big things right first and then smaller parts and the legs are bigger than the arms, so. Now, conveniently, from here to here, halfway down again, are the knees. And I wanna point out that the femur, coming from the hip to the knee, comes in at a diagonal like this. So you wanna make this shape come down at an angle and then go up a little bit straighter. Now, this is a skinny person. Um, but there's a lot of variation that we'll be able to do. There we go. And then the kneecap, just a little good information, is like a U shape. And then the back of the leg comes behind it. And it's big back here. Don't pinch the knees. The, the knee is little, but this spot on the leg is not little. So anyway, there you go. And then I'm gonna jump down the bottom part of the leg is about the same size as the upper, so you got that. Okay, make the foot like a duck foot. I went past my initial line, which I often do, but as long as you've got some extra room, you're good to go. So make it a duck foot, and I'll tell you why. This is the foot in perspective. If you come back later and you add your toes and you shape this, that's going to look like a foot. But for now, just keep it really simple. And this is, here's another uh, variation, a triangle for the side of the foot. And again, if you have that basic shape, then later 
It can be the, the ball of the foot and the arch and the big toe, and you can articulate the shape of it and you have a pretty good foot, but it's gonna start with a triangle. Back up to the torso, the elbows relate to the waist. I drew this arc because your elbows are not, I mean, your arms are not usually just straight. They're gonna be at some sort of an angle going up. Anyway, here we go. Boom, boom. There is your, the top of your arm, your upper arm. And just notice I'm working joint to joint, pelvis to knee, knee to ankle. Now I'm working shoulder to elbow. Your forearm is the same size as your upper arm. So that's easy once you got that. And then the hand I make in two sections because your hand is all bones, very angular. A lot of times people wanna make uh, hands like, like a muffin or something soft and it's, it's not. So anyway, do that. We're gonna do a, another video on just hands uh, and or small parts of the body. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on that. And then here you go. Now that you've got this, you can, you can play with that. Maybe this arm is going up. You know the size. So now you can play, right? This guy's waving. Hey, okay. <clears throat> so, and then here, here's the neck. I'm gonna add that, but this is it. This is what I want you to know. So if you're working tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny. Uh-oh, my video froze. Uh, okay, hopefully that comes back. Okay, teeny, teeny, tiny. Here's your figure, head, feet. Where's the middle? Here's my little V, just to remind myself. Head, shoulder line. Now, because this is so little, I'm sort of skipping the waist step, but I know it's about two thirds down and then whoosh, I'm just gonna go all the way down with the leg. There we go. Arm, I'm just gonna make it one line. And I got a figure in pretty good proportion here. Now it's a little stick figure, but sometimes that's all you need. And then, you know, you dress it up, you put a skirt on, put a purse on the, on the elbow, indicate some shoes. I mean, this is really good for urban sketchers too, where you're fitting a figure in a certain environment. Here's a doorway and you know how big they need to be, but the people are moving. So you just get in the head and the feet, you know how big they are and then they walk away and then you can make up the rest. Okay, um, that is basically it in a nutshell. Uh, there's of course a lot of more, a lot of more, a lot more, uh, Details, but we're going to save that. We're going to keep this relatively short. I do want to switch though to my screen share. And now I'm drawing with my finger. So it might look a little bit crude, but that's just what we got to deal with. So here we have a variation. Basically, my figure was straight up and down, um, which you should be able to do. Just you should be able to do that without looking at any reference. Top of the head, bottom of the feet. Find the middle, that's the pelvis. The head is next, the shoulder line. Do the steps. When you start looking at people or references, a lot of times it's a photo, all you're looking for are variations on what I just taught you, okay? Um, and, and or superficial details that you wanna play with. So I wanna say, whoops. I'm gonna say, whoops. That's, okay, here is the top of the head and the bottom of the feet. Now, I, I'm not even really looking at my reference right now. I can do all this without looking at her. Is that in the middle? Uh, I could probably get a little higher. If anything, make it a little higher. There's my V. I'm not even looking at her. Okay, actually, I look at her now. What's the first thing I wanna notice? Is her head doing anything different? It's slightly tilted. All right, so I just, I might tilt. That's, in this case, her shoulders, a little bit higher on the left, not a whole lot. This is not too, too much variation. But there we go. There's my girl. Okay, now this is important. If you have a leg doing going off from just the standing pose, do the weight bearing leg first. So you want to do this leg first. And look at that angle. You see that angle? That's what I was telling you about. 
So again, where's the knee? Know the location that's coming up next and just draw that. You're dividing and conquering the anatomy. Okay, and, and I, I'm gonna draw the rest of her leg. Where's the joint? Oh, I actually skipped my, where I was going, but you get it. Duck foot, duck foot, good for now. Okay, now, this is great. Now I can really use this leg to find this one. The knee, yeah, it's around in the same spot over here. Again, I'm usually working light with a pencil so I can kind of make it up, change my mind as I go. And then look, where am I going? This, where's this ankle? It's a little bit high here, uh, which makes sense because it's, it's at an angle. The leg is at a diagonal. It's not gonna be as low. So then I can just join this, right? Or there we go. And then again, just make this a triangle at first. And then you can shape it later. You can put shoes on or whatever. Okay, your torso is a little bit small. It's okay. Again, you should be drawing lightly. And I'm going to do a video on gesture drawing, which is going to help you. But we're in the ballpark. Then we have get the, it's not weight bearing, but it's the simplest arm. We know that the elbow is in proximity to the waist. So there we go. So we know that we got that. We got that. And here's your hand. Again, I'm going to do it in two sections just to show that it bends. And then I'm going to do this. Oh, here's a little tip. Make the hand. Put the hand here. Allow for that hand shape. And then the arm has to fit. If you come from the shoulder and you come down, your arm, your hand might not be where it's supposed to be. It, often it is not where it's supposed to be. So put the hand, allow for it. It's well outside the body. Here's the wrist. You see that shape? Here's her body. So it's well outside the body. So I'm allowing for that. And then I'm thinking about where's the rest of the arm. And it's got to fit. And again, I'm, I'm, I make adjustments with my line. And then I can have fun with this. I can put on clothing. But you have to draw what's underneath of the garment for a while and know how this shin is connected to this thigh, to this hip. If you skip that step, it's going to show. So anyway, now I can have fun with her, have my way with her. Okay, I'm going to show you one more example. Um, that is this guy. And again, steps, do your steps, head, whoop. head, feet, where's the middle, find the pelvis. Then you start to look at your source. His head's pretty straight, a third to a quarter. Now look at, look at these, his shoulders are very much more of an angle. Right? And what happens is when you have that shoulder curve, the hips are usually going up in the opposite direction. So you'll get a little bit of a curve, which makes sense because with the diagonal of that femur, this leg has to come in, slope in to carry the weight of the figure. Skipping the knee, so sorry, I'm skipping that step. I told you not to skip. Okay, and then you get this one. Then you're looking at what's happening here, but you drawing is a combination of what you know to do and what you see often. Sometimes it's just what you make up, but it's a combination. And so these steps are doing what you know and then varying it based on the information that you're seeing. Okay, I wanna I want just tell you one more thing very quickly, and that is this. Uh, if you uh, ha have a source that like doesn't have the feet, you're not off the hook. You still have to do the steps, all right? I'll know, I'll know if you didn't do it. So you're gonna do the top of the head, the bottom of the feet, and you're just gonna make that up. So don't let your source material keep you from doing the right thing. So I think that I'm gonna leave you with that. Uh, I know I would draw pretty fast and I talk very quickly, but freeze the video as you can. And don't forget to do your steps. Head, feet, middle. That's the first thing. Make sure your legs are long enough. 
and then divide and conquer the rest of the information, take it one step at a time, and you can master the figure in a fraction of the time that I did. Um, I wish somebody had taught me this when I was starting. Anyway, it's a lot of fun. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. And it's artconspiracy.net. Don't forget the net. And I'll see you again soon, I hope. Okay, bye.